Young love is a beautiful thing. This infinite feeling leaves you weightless in its presence. But what happens as time passes? Can love last, or is it destined to fade? Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom follows the childhood romance between Sam Shakusky and Susie Bishop. While the film ends with the two of them finally permitted to be together, we learn nothing of what becomes of them in the decades to come. It's heartbreaking to think of the unlikely soulmates diverging with age, but one reader on hellogiggles.com thinks that the two not only stayed together, but had a child named Maggie, who would eventually go on to be called Margot Tenenbaum. This theory is predicated on the idea that Susie and Sam fled an unfulfilling life in New Peasants for the lights and luster of New York City. There, Susie pursued a dream of becoming a Broadway actress. Eventually, Susie gave birth to Maggie Bishop Shikusky. Sadly, Sam and Susie died tragically in a plane crash when traveling to California. Royal Tenenbaum was appointed as the litigator in the lawsuit against the airline. As a result, Ethelene Tenenbaum took an interest in the young orphan Maggie and decided to adopt her. Royal, of course, agreed, only if they changed her name to the more sophisticated Margot. The reader points out that there are a couple of clues that support this theory. One being that the two share a similar interest in the arts. Margot is an accomplished playwright at a young age. Susie also had a past in theater, acting as a raven in the church pageant. Years later, on her 11th birthday, Margot also stages a similar performance. Coincidence? We think not. Additionally, the two are drawn to strong female protagonists. In Moonrise Kingdom, Susie reads her favorite books to the khaki scouts, so of course she would be inclined to do so with her own children. These bedtime stories likely shaped a young and impressionable Margot who would go on to write strong female leads in plays of her own. Then there's Margot's visit to her biological uncle Lionel. Note that Margot did not visit a father or a mother, but her uncle. Maybe because he is the only remaining member of her biological family. Perhaps. What's more, both Susie and Margot seem to have a penchant for forbidden romances in a tent. Is this yet another case of like mother, like daughter? And finally, if you're still not convinced, just look at the striking similarities between the two. Mere coincidence? Or is it casting with the purpose of revealing Margot's true lineage? You decide. <laughs>